We go to Naperville Central for the state final. Neekwa trying for a third straight state championship. Already this is the third straight time they've played Jacobs in the title game. Neekwa gets on the board first. Tony Paletto to Andrew Lynn. Lynn long range for Jack Shanahan. He's got the hops, 1-0. Nine minutes in now, tied at one. Aiden Frank, the sidearm deep toss to Kyle Krakowski. Tipped by Shanahan, snagged by Josh Yonker. That sequence sets up a Frank pass for RJ Farina. He can go up as well. 2-1 Jacobs. Then the Wildcats would go on a run. 6-3 here, Paletto with a pretty low release to Mike Geary. That's a four-score lead. Little later, 7-4 now, Keith Daniel forehands to Paletto. He then leads Shanahan over Farina, tic-tac-toe, works for the Wildcats, 8-4. Jacobs would keep it a game though, Tyler Barrett with a huge backhand downfield for Krakowski, he's got some wheels, 8-5. That's as close as they would get though because of passes like this, perfect rhythm, a beautiful display, Shanahan, Paletto, Daniel, 9-5 advantage. Seven minutes left now, 11-5. The huck pass aired out to Paletto, knocked by Yared Tay. Shanahan plays Johnny on the spot. Wildcats make it three straight state championships. We really made a big push this year, especially to work on fundamentals. And that took a lot more time for me as a head coach. Um, I did a lot more research, a lot more studying. I became really like a student of the game more so this year than ever and I really dedicated myself to learning the game even more because I realized that if we want to beat those top teams, that's the level we're going to have to get to. This year, everyone said we'd be worse than last year because it was such a big friends of seniors and they all left and we had a big drop. They're like, because we lost 14 seniors and the 14 seniors last year were really good. And everyone was like, oh, Java, you won't have as good of a team this year. Nico won't be as good, this and that. And my argument is that we were actually better and it, our record shows we were a better team this year than last year. We have more trophies, we have more championships, we, have, we did better overall than last year. And, um, and I really credit that to the fact that, like you're saying, we worked on our fundamentals and we just drilled and drilled and drilled our fundamentals. And whenever we would have a hiccup in this game, it was always because we had a breakdown of our fundamentals. And I always tell the kids in the huddle, okay, go back to your fundamentals. And as soon as we did, We'd score. Compared to previous teams, that's something we've taken a huge amount of pride in because this year we've been forced to be more fundamental, more sound all the way through with every single one of our players to the point where we're confident in each of our abilities to catch the disc, to throw the disc, and we don't have to worry about any player you know, turning the disc over. I think we're a very well-rounded team, which is why our offense is so successful. Everyone catches consistently and everyone throws consistently, so that helps. It's a whole team effort to get a good huck out. It's not just the one guy going and the one guy throwing. It's all the cutters downfield, clearing space, all the handlers clearing easy throwing lanes. And with the throw, she's down. We knew that they would be a formidable foe. Um, they hung with us. Um, they even took the lead at the beginning of the game, you know, 2 1. And so it was wonderful to see that my kids could come back and rally from that. But Jacobs is, I, I've always thought that they're a great program. Um, you know, they've been second to us every year for the last three years. That's motivation to push us harder, and that's, you know, that's how much respect we have for that program. Whenever we had a chance to come back, we either made a mistake or they just had a good play. And we got our heads down, I thought, a couple times throughout the game. We got beat a lot on the deeps, but I mean, I thought we held them kind of in check on the unders, but it was mostly our turns. We had some bad turns. They had some nice Ds. Their defense was really good. They ran through the disc. They were just making us turn, and I guess we weren't really used to that because most of the teams didn't really do that, but this team, they really wanted the disc. They laid out more than any team that we've, uh, we've seen this whole season. I mean, you had to bust it 100%. If you gave it 99, then they're going to do that. We're really just tenacious. I mean, over the years, we've just become more and more focused on tight, close, physical defense, where we prevent our guy from getting into space rather than just chasing them around and following them, really just trying to dictate with our positioning where the other team goes. And like, even if you don't even get it, but still they see you lay out past them, it still might get in their head. So we just bid as much as we can. As opposed to earlier in the season, we've gotten to know each other a lot more throughout the whole season, so it helps us work together on defense. And that helps a lot when uh, you need someone to help you cover when the disc comes up in the air. I mean, we felt disappointed in not being able to achieve our goal. And so the next three years, being able to finally get that 
state championship and to win it back to back has been awesome. It really feels like the culmination of my high school career and I know the rest of the team feels the same way. And I really cannot thank my support staff enough and that starts with my administrative assistant Margie Beck to all the parents that help, my board, I have a board, Michelle Switek's on it, Jackie Stakowitz, and then it goes on to my coaches and I really can't do this without my coaches. My coaches, they spend hours out on the field um, going over things at home, looking at video, you know, putting together game plans, and they do everything to get us to this point. And the reality of it all is that I can't do it myself. The other thing is that, is that we, we're now a year-round program, so we do, you know, we have stuff going on in the summer, fall, winter, and then, of course, the spring's our big season. And we made that commitment two years ago to go year-round, and I think that that's been the biggest difference is we've gone from just being a pretty good program to being a great program. And to be honest with you, we're not done yet. We want to keep on improving. Java's really helped me just develop as a person, and that's really helped me overall throughout everything, not just Ultimate. I think it's a big thing, is that like, what we gain here isn't just in the sport, it's also beyond that, because we gain a family. We become better people. He's really encouraging for people, which is why we're able to compete three years in a row like this, is everyone's a part of the club and everyone feels welcome with Java. To be honest with you, we, are, we consider ourselves a top five program in the nation, um, probably even top two or three at this point. Um, there's a couple other programs that I have a lot of respect for that we still have a tough time beating. We, we do go to national tournaments, we go to Atlanta, we go to Minneapolis, we go to Cincinnati, we go to Madison, and um, right now there's a couple teams out there like Amherst. Uh, we be, actually beat them last year, but this year they had a number. Um, Paideia down in Atlanta, Holy Family in Cincinnati. We're still struggling a little bit to beat those teams, but those are the top two or three teams in the entire nation and nobody comes close to them. So to be in that same sentence, which we are, that was only a dream three, four years ago. That really was only a dream, and now we are in that sentence with them. And in fact, this year we beat Hopkins every time we play them, and Hopkins is based on Minneapolis. They've always been a top four program, and they couldn't beat us this year. So I think that that goes to show that we're probably top two or three in the entire nation. And you know, it's funny, there's a team out from the East Coast called Amherst, and they've been the best program in the nation for probably the last 20 years. And it's funny because they got beat this year and by another team in Massachusetts. And what it's showing, in my humble opinion, is that everybody's starting to play catch up to the top programs. And so that is something that I realize as a head coach. And so I know that I gotta keep pushing my kids to become better and better, which is why this year I've invested a lot of time and effort into my youth program, which is my fourth through eighth grade program. And they won the championship today. And <laughs> to be honest with you, I'm more, I'm more excited and happy about that one than you know, the high school state championship because that's, that one wasn't expected. 